Hello everyone. So today we're going to discuss characteristics, ethics, and practices of research. This is introduction to your subject, practical research. So first, let's discuss the characteristics of research. So there are different characteristics of research, namely empirical, logical, cyclical, analytical, critical, methodical, and replicability. First, what is empirical? Empirical is research is based on direct experience or observation by the researcher. So we mean empirical is dapat ginawa na researcher talaga. He conducted it, he observed it, he plotted the questionnaire, he interpreted the data and many more. Logical. Logical is research is based on valid procedures and proof. So, dapat may sense. May sense dapat ang research na gagawin. That's why it's logical. There should be a valid procedure and principle. Cyclical or cyclical. Research starts with the problem and ends with the problem. So, in cyclical, dito papasok yung the first step in making research with which is knowing a research problem. Okay. You can't make a research paper or a research output, come up with a research output without having a research problem or a topic. So kapag may topic ka na, may problema ka na, and you finish your research paper, meron pa rin lucky or lack sa iyong paper. Doon na naman papasok yung another problem. That's why it's like it. From problem, solve another problem, solve ulit, problem, solve. So, research is a cycle. Fourth, analytical. Research utilizes proven analytical procedures in gathering data, whether historical, active, experimental, and case study. So, analytical in the sense of Utilizing or gumagamit tayo ng um, um, procedures in gathering data or we use statistical methods, mathematical methods in gathering data, interpreting, interpreting and um, coming up with a conclusion. That's why research is analytical. Okay. Research is critical. What do we mean? Research exhibits careful and precise judgment. So say if your research paper come up with this idea and hindi naman siya makatotohanan and it will make our world messy, parang, parang you accidentally you accidentally develop a certain virus that will kill a person just by inhaling this virus. So we should always um, be critical in making researches. Next, methodical. Methodical is research is conducted in a methodical manner without bias using systematic methods and procedures. So in making research, we are following certain procedures. So first, we need to know our research top our research topic and problem plan we should do the chapter one chapter two chapter three chapter four and chapter five and that is how research works we we follow a certain pattern or method replicability research design and procedures are repeated enable the researcher to arrive at valid and conclusive results. So we mean replicability for the mobility. For example, I made a certain research in a certain area. You can also adapt my research by means of sa ibang lugar. So 
So, for example, my research is all about the tardiness of grade 12 students in Santa Maria National High School. So, dahil nakita mo na maganda pala yung ating research, you adopted it and applied it to a certain school. Pwede yun. From Santa Maria to San Sebastian, you can do that. So, my research is replicable. Pwede mo ulit. So, ano naman, from the characteristics of research, ano naman ang mga characteristics of researcher naman tayo, ng the person? Let's discuss. Number one is intellectual curiosity. Kung ano ang problem situation na yun. Or ang mga bagay bagay, for example, What's the main problem with you? Ano ba ang mga nararanas ng may mga estudyante? Ano ba yung mga nakaka-apekto sa mga problema yun ng mga estudyante? So that's how a researcher dapat mag-speak. So, next, prudence. Prudence is a researcher is careful to conduct his study at the right time and at the right place, wisely, efficiently, and economically. So dapat, Dapat, dapat alam ng isang researcher na tamang panahin dapat ito to conduct this study. And, dapat hindi siya masyadong gumastos. Or dapat, kung gagawin mo niya ang isang research na to at gagasto siya of a certain amount, is it worth it? Something like that. That is the proof it. Next one. Healthy criticism. The researcher is always doubtful as to the truthfulness of the result. So, dapat as a researcher yourself, hindi ka masyadong confident sa result ng magiging research mo. Kasi, pwedeng maging imabas yung sa research mo, yung against sa uh, gusto mong imabas. So, you should always be doubtful hindi ka confident. Okay. Next one is intellectual honesty. Researcher is honest to collect or gather the data or facts in order to arrive at honest results. So what do we mean? So dapat as a re researcher, dapat hindi ka bayat sa magiging result ng iyong research. For example, ang lumabas sa research mo ay taliwas or hindi hindi yung inaasahan mo so So, as a researcher, dapat i-present mo kung anong talaga ang gumabas sa research mo. It's not because or i-manipulate mo yung findings, yung gathering of data mo para lumabas yung gusto mong findings. So, that is not good. You should be honest. Kung ano yung nag-gather mo, na-interpret mo, yung findings mo, dapat yun yung i-present mo as result ng research mo. So, fifth, intellectual creativity. A resourceful investigator always creates new researches. So, nag-conduct ka na ng research mo, tapos na siya, may conclusion ko na. Tapos, you should not stop there. You should be creative. Magtanong pa ulit yung mga problema sa sarili mo. And conduct it again as a research because it is a continuous learning, continuous progress. At kapag palagi ka ng like research, that will be your forte, your edge as an individual. Ang taling mo na mag-conduct ng research because you have intellectual creativity. So these are the acronyms of a good researcher. Ano ba? Diba? They simplify it as this. The qualities of a good researcher. R is research oriented. It's about focus ka sa research mo kapag isa kang researcher or if you are conducting research. Efficient. Dapat may sense yung research mo. Papapakinabangan siya. Scientific. Dapat nakarelay ka sa mga theories statistical methods and other 
valid process. Effective. If you're conducting research, dapat merong edge after making your research. Effective dapat. Active. As a researcher, you should be active in making your research. Why? Because kapag nag-stop ka in doing your research, maulalaylo na yung energy mo in making your research. That happens um, every time you lose confidence about making your research or kapag mahirap pagbasa ng different parts ng research sa teacher mo, so always be active kapag na-reject ng teacher mo yung part ng research mo, magbasa ka ulit. Be an active researcher para hindi mawala yung adrenaline rush mo in making your research. Be resourceful. So, as a researcher, you should be resourceful in finding related literatures, in doing your chapter 2. Resourceful in a sense that maghahanap ka ng magandang um, example ng questionnaire mo, pag pwede mo siyang i-adapt. Creativity. So, parang resourceful lang din siya. You need to be out of your shell to do your research. Honest. So, we already discussed honesty while ago. Kapag ano ang nababas sa research mo, yun dapat ang ecosystem and economical or economic. So, dapat if, be mindful about the budget of your research. So, hindi ka dapat all out money. So let's now proceed to the classification of research. So there are three classifications of research. Library research, field research, and laboratory research. First, we're going to discuss library research. This is done in the library where answers to specific questions or problems of the study are available. So for example, as a teacher, a face-to-face, -face, for example, I ask you to do some research in the library. So that is a library research. So certain specific questions lang and I'm asking you to provide me the answers. So that's a library research. Next, field research. Research is conducted in a natural setting. So sa field research naman, I can cite an example. Yung mga ginagawa ng mga social workers, they go to certain barangays and conduct field research. So, for example, there, there is this case in a certain barangay na bakit tumataas ang teenage pregnancy in a certain barangay. So, ikakonduct ng isang social work ang field research to know ano ba yung mga factors affecting the increase of teenage pregnancy in that specific barangay. Then, the third one is the laboratory research. This is conducted in artificial or controlled conditions by isolating study in a thoroughly specified and equipped area. So laboratory research are done in facilities kapag sa mga malalaking company, sa pharmaceutical, sa DOH, sa DAR, President, so laboratories naman kapag laboratory research. They say this is also called experimental research. 